You can tell that uh, that's an uh, old video because of the books that I'm using there. Those are uh, Technology Today and Tomorrow, I think, one of the first engineering books that we used in the labs. This was at also <coughs> at the old Baraka High School. This was before the uh, the parking deck collapsed over there at Georgia Tech. I was over there doing a uh, a summer camp, doing the same project over there at Georgia Tech uh, with the students and some of the uh, instructors. And the parking deck collapsed that day while we were doing this project here. So, in structural engineering, you have to know these type of uh, look for problems like that. Right now, I have eight books on the structure. This is a good project to, to get the students interested in uh, engineering and design. In the classroom, you will have someone counting the books for you. Another student would be counting 
the books are keep a log. That this activity will keep the class uh, attentive, and then they're watching to see at what point will the weight of the books cause the structure to fail. Right there, I ran out of books, so I have to go get some more books. See, if I had the books there, it would have probably taken uh, <laughs> it would probably taken more than 15 books because there's forces of, uh, applied now uh, acting on that platform and uh, over that period of time the platform is getting weaker and it could have held more books so I'm going to locate some more books I have one platform to hold about the students design one to hold about 50 books and I think that was the record no one has came close to that um, record since So I gave the students that if students make uh, at least 15 books, which I made, I think, and there's forces acting on the books right now. The weight. There you go. So that's the minimum amount I allowed.